Hi, my name is Cassie, and I'm typically the one behind the camera. However, this time, I want to showcase a project that we put together that includes the new SparkFun OpenLog Artemis. Follow me. So a long time ago, my friends and I built this contraption and had a ton of fun with it, but then I moved out here to Colorado. And I left it back in Southern California, and my parents eventually called me to get all my stuff and finally bring it out here. So I finally did, of course, years after, and it was just collecting dust in the garage. And I thought I had to put this together in a SparkFun video. So what I did is now the new SparkFun OpenLog open Artemis came out, and it can do basically everything. So I got some help from some of our engineers here at SparkFun. Specifically, Avra helped me out with this one, and we were able to put together this crazy contraption. And so this is my DIY drift trike. We're gonna learn how to do some stuff on it with science. As you can see, there are no brakes on it. So in order to brake safely, I have to do a 360 or a drift around corners. And if I don't go fast enough, then I usually stall out and roll back into my surroundings. That's not super fun. So what I wanna find out is how fast do I have to go in order to do a 360 safely? And how much do I really slow down when I do that? I'm just looking for like an average. And so I got some help from Avra to put the OpenLog Artemis on it to get some data. The OpenLog Artemis is perfect for answering these types of questions because you can test your hypothesis, gather data quickly, and get right back to Triken. All you need is the board, a micro SD card, and a power source. And you can just plug and play and get speed tracking. Let's do this. Safety first. Last time, Rob went over about half of the details having to do with the open log Artemis. There's so much packed into this board. And this time, with Cassie, we get to test it out in a real life data logging situation. And the coolest part about this whole project is that I didn't have to write a single line of code. Not one. The open log Artemis essentially replaces the 9DOF Razor, so it was the perfect module to track Cassie's speed change when doing 360s. All that I had to do was load in a blank FAT32 micro SD card open up the serial monitor within the Arduino IDE, and navigate through the main menu. For this project, we wanted to enable the IMU, ensure that data was being logged to the SD card, and turn off some of the other noise from the various other sensors. We captured that data with the CSV and imported it into Jupyter Notebook so that we could play around with it and plot graphs. The OpenLog Artemis lends itself to quick prototyping, and the fact that it already comes in a CSV made it way too easy for me to manipulate the data in Python through Jupyter Notebooks. Because we used the IMU, the data return was actually three values of acceleration from the X, Y, and Z axes, respectively. So calculating speed was a bit of a throwback to physics for me, and included writing out some Pythagorean theorem equations, as well as thinking about discrete intervals and how velocity and acceleration relate to each other. Besides that, thanks to the format of the data, visualizing the data was quick and easy and made it easier to understand how much Cassie's speed is affected by doing 360s. She actually doesn't slow down as much as she thinks. And that's how you use the OpenLog Artemis on a pretty sketchy contraption. But really, you can use it on any project because this module enables you to be the ultimate scientist. You can go about your day, keep it in your pocket, ask questions, and answer them immediately with data logging. So get yours today at sparkfun.com and happy drifting. and tracking, and hacking, and all that jazz. <laughs> and all that jazz. I wonder if I want to like step in or something. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Become the ultimate scientist. You can go about your day in the world, your life in the world. <laughs> you can go about life. That was beautiful. And, and how much do I really slow down when I do that? And so, to fight, ah, almost. So that might have been it, we'll see. That's it. Yeah. It's weird being in front of a camera. <laughs>